This video shows how to import data into Realty Juggler real estate software from an uncommon data source. I'll start by signing into Realty Juggler and clicking on the settings icon. I'll click on the valet import icon and answer the questions listed here. If my data source is listed in this dropdown, I could select it. I have a file that I downloaded from my MLS, so I'm going to select Other from this dropdown and enter the name of my MLS as Florida MLS. There are two possible databases I might import my data into. The Prospects database is for strangers, basically unqualified leads. The Contacts database is for people I already know, my past clients, friends, and other real estate agents. Since these are leads that I have never met, I'll select Prospects. For duplicate records, I have three options. If I select Not Imported, then if a prospect with the same name is already in Realty Juggler, they will be kept as is, and the new record will not be imported into Realty Juggler. If I select Replace Existing Records, then any prospect with the same name that is already in Realty Juggler will be replaced with the record from my file. The last option is Allowed, and that option will allow duplicate entries to be added when I import. That way, if I already have a prospect with the same name, it will be kept and a new record will also be added with that same name. I'm going to select the option Replace Existing Records, as I tried to do this import on my own previously and the phone numbers didn't load. I already have prospects in my Realty Juggler with the same names as these records, but this data is all messed up. I want to make sure that the new good data replaces the old messed up data. For import frequency, I have two options. The first choice is, this is a one-time import and is suitable for data that I need just one time. For example, transferring information from an old CRM would be a one-time import. The second option, I need to import data like this regularly is suitable for situations where I intend to regularly load data from the data source. For example, perhaps I want to load FSBO leads every week. In my case, I want to load the contacts from my MLS every month, so I'll select this second option. That way, the folks at Realty Juggler will create a menu item called MLS, which I can use to import my data anytime I want. I'll also add a category by typing MLS into the Add a New Category field. That way, I'll know that these contacts came from my MLS when I received them in Realty Juggler. I'll attach my file by selecting Choose File and finding my file from my computer. I'm going to add a quick note. I tried importing on my own, and the phone numbers never loaded. Can you replace the bad data with this new data? Lastly, I'll click on the Import button, which will submit my import request to Realty Juggler. All I need to do is wait for the nice folks at Realty Juggler to import my data for me. I just got an email from the folks at Realty Juggler that my prospects from that valet import request have been loaded. I'll sign in to Realty Juggler and click on the Prospects icon. Since I asked for the category MLS to be added to these new records, I'll select MLS from the drop-down in the upper right. Here are those new prospect records. I'll click on one and I can see that everything was loaded perfectly. Excellent! I got a second email from the folks at Realty Juggler. The email says that they created a special menu item just for me so that I can load my MLS data anytime I like. Let's try using that custom importer right now. From the main screen of Realty Juggler, I'll click on the Settings icon and then the Import icon. I'll change the first drop-down from Contacts to Prospects. When I made my original Valet import request, that's the database I said I wanted to load my data into. I'll click on the Format drop-down, and here at the bottom is that Florida MLS menu item that I asked for. I'll select that option, pick my data file, and click Import. 
The message in red and in bold explains that zero records were imported and 55 records weren't imported as they were already there. That makes sense as I just had the Realty Juggler folks import this data for me. There's nothing new in this file. In a month, I'll sign into my MLS and export my data again. This time, that data will contain new records. I can then follow these same steps and new data will be loaded into Realty Juggler.